get ready brace yourself to get answers to all of these from nilesh shah the group president and managing director of kotak mahindra asset management co well to talk about nilesh i'm sure a lot of you know him uh, 30 years of experience in capital markets having worked with icici group axis bank group um, nilesh is someone who's been a part time member of the economic advisory council to the prime minister and a board member of of amfi as well well uh, looks like nilesh uh, is going to be joining us virtually so yes uh, nilesh a very very good afternoon to you and welcome to a whole new world let's greet him with a good round of cheer please thank you namaskar i hope i am audible because of covid 19 i am not present with you in person but hopefully ye bhi chal jayega the future of distribution business looks quite impressive indians are good savers as economy grows as gdp grows things will grow and hence distribution business will grow 1990 mein hamari economy 200 billion dollar ke aas paas thi आज साढ़े तीन ट्रिलियन डॉलर के आसपास है ऑटोमेटिकली डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन बिजनेस बढ़ जाता है बिकॉज सेविंग्स बढ़ेगी बट दिस डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन बिजनेस विल कंटिन्यू टू इवॉल्व एंड चेंज दे से चेंज इज ओनली कॉन्स्टेंट एंड देर आर फोर्सेस विच आर शेपिंग डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन बिजनेस विजिबल टू अस one the bottom of the pyramid distribution will be driven by platforms they are leveraging technology they are selling direct plans which are cost effective to investors and they are willing to burn capital for customer acquisition clearly jo bottom of the pyramid investors said the lower quartile of investors go to platform ki taraf move hote rahenge on the other hand jo top end customers sell hnis super hnis they will prefer personal touch as well as digital convenience they will be generally stretch for time and hence digital convenience will be necessary but at the same time they will always require the flexibility of calling his or her relationship manager this group's need will be complex they will require different kinds of product they will require leverage in other facility they will invest across asset classes not just mutual funds clearly banks national distributors will have better ability to service this hni segment essentially it leaves a britain segment which is just above bottom of the pyramid savers and just below hni segment this is the segment which will value and wealth they will prefer human touch their need for products will be limited they are more likely to be long term investor willing to take some under performance here and there this segment will be dominated by mutual fund distributors especially ifas banks and indies this three segment put together will continue to expand distribution business continue to bring more customers into mutual funds and continue to increase the pie let me now come back to mutual fund distribution business run by independent financial advisors through mutual fund distributors clearly there are many success stories there are many promising stories as we saw in sanjeevani awards but 
clearly the future of mutual fund distribution business is also going to change. You will have to leverage technology. There is no doubt about it. You will have to provide human touch. There is no doubt about it. And combo of digital plus human touch with targeted setting, with targeting of customers will ensure that your business will continue to grow and sustain. I believe there will be consolidation in mutual fund distribution. About six years back, I have talked about amortization of IFAs. This is where IFAs come together to create a corporate entity, to create size and scale, to create an alternative to banks and national distributors and digital distributors through platforms. And we have to say that few consultations have happened in mutual fund distribution community. Some like-minded mutual fund distributors have come together to increase their size and scale, to create bigger entities which can take care of HNI's retail and bottom of the pyramid investors. Going forward, I believe this trend will accelerate. This will allow mutual fund distributors to compete against banks, entities, and platforms. They will not only sell mutual funds, but also other products, including on the liability side of the customers. They will also provide accounting and taxation and other services. As you send multiple products to your customers, as you meet their very requirements, the connection grows stronger and you will be able to penetrate your client more. You will be able to retain your client more. Consolidation in distribution landscape does not mean that individual MFPs won't survive or prosper. No, there is large space. Consolidation will create one set of growth opportunities. The non-consolidation of individual IFAs or MFPs will continue to work in the niche area. They will provide differentiated services to their customers whether it's in relation to fairness to the customer, whether it's in relation to personal touch, whether it's in relation to you know, maintaining trust and confidence for doing certain kinds of work, whatever the case may be, but there will be space for individual MFPs, IFAs in niche segment. As industry continues to expand, there will be many, many alternatives for various business models. Obviously, niche segment won't have that kind of explosive growth which consolidation can create. Niche segment will not allow monetization which consolidation can create. So each one will have to take a call whether they want to push to the path of niche identity or they want to come together to create larger entities. But I feel very confident about mutual fund industry, about distribution business. Obviously, there will be challenges, there will be need for coming together to solve those challenges as manufacturer and as distributor. One final request to entire distribution committee, distribution fraternity, is to come together to create one voice. Today we hear many fragmented voice and that's where the effectiveness reduces. If there is one voice, it will make a huge difference in shaping policies, rules, regulation, which impact your business. So, please come together to create one voice that will help you shape policies, rules, regulations, which impact your business. Think about what business model you want to follow, what customer segment you want to target, and based on that, create a winning combination in an ever-growing industry. At the end of the day, the basics of distribution business is not going to change. When you work for customer, 
When you build their trust and confidence, the pocket share will follow. The investment work will require meditation. Just because medicines have improved, it doesn't mean the need for doctor disappears. In fact, there is more need for doctor as wide variety of medicines are available. So there will be growth in distribution business, there will be growth in distributor fraternity. But people who adopt to changes will benefit out of it more than people who will not evolve, people who will not adopt to changes. I hope and pray that all of you adopt, evolve and create one voice to shape rules, regulations, impacting your business and benefit in this ever-growing business opportunity. Thank you.